Hey guys, and welcome to a Star Wars Battlefront 2 Starfighter video. Before we start, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe for more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content, and to follow me on Twitter, the link to that is in the description below. But now let's get started with the video. Now I was originally going to do a separate video for every Starfighter in the game, but that would require waiting until the full game launch, and I wanted to get as many guides as possible done as fast as I could, so I decided it would be easier just to do a video for each Starfighter class and dedicate a section of that video to each ship of that class that was playable in the beta. So today we are looking at the Fighter class. The Fighter class is a multi-purpose Starfighter class. It has good speed and maneuverability, average health, and good firepower. It is considered the middle tier between the Interceptor class and the Bomber class. The Fighter class for the Galactic Republic is the ARC-170 Starfighter, but it was not playable in the beta. The N1 Starfighter was the Republic's fighter class in the beta. The stylish and sleek Naboo Starfighter is armed with blasters and torpedoes and equipped with its own astromech. It can punch hard at ground targets and atmospheric craft. Its abilities include astromech repair. When activated, this instantly restores a small amount of lost health. Uh, a proton torpedo. This fires a missile that tracks the target and deals high damage and Weapon Overcharge, which increases primary weapon damage for a short time. The fighter class for the Separatist is the Vulture Droid. This versatile fighter is skilled at both dogfighting and ground attacks, and it is, capable of, it is a capable combatant in almost any situation. Its abilities are the Afterburner, which gives the ship an instant speed boost for a long time. This can be cancelled by the pilot. An energy torpedo, which fires a missile that tracks the locked target and deals high damage. And a laser barrage, which charges up rapid fire shots that deal high damage. The Rebellion fighter is the iconic X-Wing. The X-Wing can do it all, engage interceptors, take down TIE fighters, interdict bombers, and assault capital ships. Its abilities are astromech repair, which like the N1 starfighter restores a small amount of lost health. The Proton Torpedo, which also, like the N1 Starfighter, fires a powerful missile that locks onto the target. And the Weapon Charge, also like the N1 Starfighter, which increases damage of the primary weapon. And last but certainly not least is the Fighter Class for the Galactic Empire, and it is of course the TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter is equally adept at discouraging enemy interceptors, taking down X-Wings, and spoiling a rebel bombing run. Its abilities are an afterburner, which is the same as a Vulture Joy, it increases your speed for a long amount of time and can be cancelled. A Proton Torpedo, which is the same as the X-Wing, fires a uh, powerful explosive that locks onto the enemy. And a Laser Barrage, which is the same as the Vulture Droid, which increases the weapon's damage. If you learned something in this video, please leave a like, comment, as well as check out my other Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos. And until the next one, may the Force be with you.